All right, let's talk about some of the bones and bony landmarks of the knee joint. So you have these enlarged femoral condyles that articulate with the tibial condyles. Uh, the medial and lateral tibial condyles, uh, specifically the tibial plateaus, are platforms where the um, medial and lateral femoral condyles articulate. The tibia, the medial part, bears the most of our body weight, so on the medial side. And the fibula, which is on the lateral side, serves as an attachment point, but is technically not part of the knee joint because it doesn't articulate with the uh, femur or the patella. The patella is actually a sesamoid bone, and that means it's embedded in the quadriceps and patellar tendon. And its purpose uh, is not necessarily protection of the knee joint, but its main mechanical purpose is to increase the moment arm of the quadricep muscle groups. So remember, that increases the torque, the extensor torque, because torque is force, muscle force times moment arm. And if you increase the moment arm from the center of rotation to the line of muscle force with that patella, that increases your mechanical advantage for knee extensor torque by 30% or greater. It also serves as a pulley that redirects the force of the quadriceps. And you can see in this lower image, um, it's redirecting our quadricep muscle force to actually come down and extend the tibia on the femur.